Hello, D23 members. I'm Mark Hinn. I'm one of the animators here at the Walt Disney Animation Studios. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw Bell. We always start with a circle, which basically represents the uh, skull or the cranium of a character. And that's a really good foundation because then you can, you can hang all the rest of the features um, on that. So when I mean, you see artists oftentimes starting with a circle like this, um, that's what they're thinking. They're thinking the skull, the, the basic uh, head of the, uh, the character. So let's see here. Um, so Belle, her head shape is actually, it's a lot like a, a little bit like a peanut. She's got, uh, she's got kind of a really pronounced strong forehead and, um, and her cheeks here. She always reminded me a little bit of a, of a peanut shape. And you can use then this, once you've kind of hung this shape here, the mass of the uh, face underneath that circle, then you can come back and that helps you to kind of identify where, uh, where the eyes need to be. And the eyes on Belle kind of go something like this. They kind of fit in here. And I'm drawing kind of light and scratchy like this. This is the way most animators work because oftentimes you're just, you're searching. So much of drawing is about feeling and finding the shapes. So we're just gonna start indicating uh, her shoulders here, part of her outfit, um, like this. And of course the hairdo is, is critical. And uh, Bell's is certainly unique and uh, as much of an identifying factor for her as, as all the other characters. So she's got these, you know, bangs. She's got kind of a high forehead and um, these bangs that kind of sit way up here. And her hair is actually kind of pulled back and that's what gives her these, these little, what look kind of like wings that uh, kind of go over her ears. It's her hair is being pulled back and it's in a, uh, in another, in a ponytail. Okay, so we've got her hair coming over here. This is going back, kind of sweeps back, gets pulled back, and this goes over her ears. Now some people you could actually go through and you could draw the nose line, the bridge of the nose coming down. That sometimes helps people. Even though you don't always draw these shapes, you're always thinking about these shapes. And as an artist, you know, you, you sometimes you need to you need to leave things for for the audience to kind of fill in with their minds. This little squiggle here just kind of represents her her collarbone and her the little uh, little indentation just below your neck, right where your your collarbone and uh, kind of comes together there in front. All right, so there's Belle. 